Com. And I'm pretty sure today's weather won't make the cut. Not necessarily unforgettable weather. Uh, but today was a little bit better than yesterday. At least you can say that. Through this evening, though, we are expecting some thunder showers. It's only a 30% risk, so not everybody's going to be seeing it at 21 degrees. Now, speaking of that thunder shower risk. Uh, so many of us do have that risk, by the way, and that's in behind a trough of instability that we had going on yesterday. And there is some energy in the atmosphere, but it was a little bit on the wet side, on the muggy side, gloomy side, uh, not to complain too much. Others have way more to complain about. Unfortunately, thousands upon thousands of acres, hectares, I should say. Now in Alberta, we also continue to have this problem, and it's pretty large as well. Some of the fires are becoming contained, but to the north on the BC-Alberta border, this fire, 35,000 hectares ablaze, still 0% contained. To the Great White North, which isn't so white, obviously, right now, uh, over 850,000 hectares are burning right now. So not a good situation there as well. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. Home. Well, we're celebrating China, right? In Chinatown. Okay, I'm getting hungry just looking at that. Yes, yeah, great news, a great turnout. Uh, today, we still are looking at a chance of non severe thunder showers right across the GTA, places marked in yellow, a little bit to the south and to the north of us as well. But not everybody's going to be seeing it. That's the good news. But one thing's for sure more activity to the north. We do in northwestern Ontario actually have a tornado watch that is in place for places like Sioux Lookout, Dried, and Kenora. Just because all the right ingredients are in place there and a cold front is set to come through eventually later into the evening hours. I'll show you when that's coming up. But you can see just a couple blobs here around the GTA. That's your chance of thunder showers. That's the cold front that be could be causing all those problems. And then another system moves into northwestern Ontario. So they have a really active next few days. It'll feel like 32 Monday afternoon. Uh, yeah, this area actually gets a lot of hail. It's just the right setup there along the mountains. The topography just really allows for the production of hail. For us, you know, we don't see it as much, but there always is a risk of seeing hail with thunder showers. And we do have a risk of thunderstorms right across southern Ontario into eastern Ontario as well. Areas marked in yellow all the way up through to the uh, mouth of the St. Lawrence. Meanwhile, the target of the real activity, the real active weather is northwestern Ontario. They even do have tornadic risks for today. And here are the next seven days for us. Hey, kind of lousy conditions for that. I'm not going to lie. A lot of umbrellas out. It was rainy and dreary yesterday. Ooh. Now, there is a chance of seeing that again, and the skies are getting a little bit more ominous in southern Ontario now, and there is a risk of non-severe thunder showers right across the board, as you can see, but the closer you are to the lake, you should be fine, actually. Where the real active weather is happening, though, is in northwestern regions of Ontario, where we do have a risk of tornadoes. So all the right ingredients are in place for places like Dryden, Kenora, Sioux Lookout. If you have friends and family out there, you want to let them know that there is a chance of seeing tornadoes uh, be formed in this area ahead of a cold front that is on its way. So we're talking about into this evening, early evening hours that we're looking at this happening with that cold front. For us, shouldn't be too bad. It'll feel like 32 tomorrow up against the windows and I know our very own storm hunters they can attest to that our vehicles that we actually take out to go live on location they have several dents in them because of the hail and everybody can tell when we're driving by that's how yeah it was big hail uh, that they picked up but meanwhile for us we have a chance of seeing a non-severe thunder shower uh, areas marked in yellow and that is for today so it does include the city of Toronto showers we're on but it didn't stop a lot of the people from coming out. City of Toronto on Monday uh, morning, as you're heading out, it'll already be 19 degrees for the morning hours. Plenty of sunshine. We've got a great forecast for both Monday and Tuesday. And I'll show you what's to come for your Wednesday. That's our game changer. We're going to have thunder showers come Wednesday. Uh, and temperatures are going to be really hot then.